I'm here today with a haul of a ton of good drugstore goodies. I think almost all of these products are under $10. Maybe there might be something that's like $12. Actually, no. Everything is, oh yeah, there's one thing that is $11.97. But everything else is under $12. I have a ton of goodies. Some of these are brand new, some of them I just haven't tried yet, and so I wanted to share them with you. So before we get into the haul, if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassie. I hope you enjoy this video, and you decide to stay a while by hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and that notification bell before you leave. And now let's just jump into the haul. <laughs> I keep wanting to say tutorial. Let's jump into the haul. Where do I even begin? Let's start here. This, um, I placed a Wet n Wild order online and I bought a bunch of their new brushes which I am going to show all their new brushes in a video and you'll just have to stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed that way you see that video because it's going to be worth it. The brushes are amazing. So I placed an order and got some other things as well. One of them is their new, this is their retractable brow pencil. This is, looks like, <laughs> this looks like it is going to be very similar to the new Maybelline one that I really like, the Total Temptation one, uh, or the Anastasia Brow Definer, and then also Benefit makes one too. It's kind of that like triangle shape that seems to be the popular shape nowadays. Looks just like the Anastasia one, and it is definitely like that same triangle shape. And I think that's going to be a good color for my brows. Um, this one's in medium brown. So I'm really excited to try that. Also has a spoolie at the end. I'm just loving playing with new brow products. I did my brows. They're actually quite dark today, to be honest. Um, I used the Benefit like pomade today, and I like them. They're just a little bit dark for me today, but we're going to roll with it. Um, the other stuff I got from Went Wild, they have these new Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Eyeshadows. And I wanted to try these out to see if they are similar to the Stila ones, because you guys know I love the Stila glitter, magnificent metal glitter things, and I didn't know if these were going to be similar to those or maybe like the new cream shadows they're coming out with. Uh, this first shade I have is called Shells and Whistles. I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer. I feel like you're like really far away, and we're better friends than that, so let me bring you a bit closer. There we go. That's better. Um, I did film a tutorial for this look, so... Don't worry, it's either already up or it'll be coming up. So again, subscribe so you know. All right, so it's got a little doe foot applicator. Oh, that's pretty. That's like a really pretty copper. Yes, that looks really pretty. I don't really see any glitter in it. It's more of like a cream, just a cream shadow, but the color is super pretty. So I'm excited about that. Now this one looks like it has glitter in it. This one is called Goldilocks and it just looks like a really pretty gold packed full of glitter. So maybe some of them are cream and some of them are glittery. A little bit more sheer. And it has more glitter, but do you see that reflex? It's really pretty. So I'm really excited to try these out and see how they wear. Um, I also got this gorgeous green, and this one is called Emerald Gaze. And I don't know, I have a couple tutorials on my channel uh, using like these deep greens. I just think they're so pretty. And this one looks like it has, oh, interesting. It's almost more of a black, like a black base with a ton of green shimmer. That's pretty. It's not as opaque as the copper one, but still very beautiful. Picked up Cashmere Love. This one looks stunning. Looks like right up my alley. Uh, and it looks like it has quite a bit of glitter. Oh my gosh, the little plastic things are so staticky. Okay, this one is more of a taupe, and it looks like it almost has like some purple shimmer in it, but it's not as glitter packed as the steel one. So if you think it's gonna be like the steel ones with a ton of glitter, it's not. It's definitely more of a cream shadow that has some glitter like suspended in it versus like mainly glitter like the ones I usually like. So these might be more like the new Stila cream shadows that came out. And this last one is called When Stars Align. And this one's black. Ooh, with like some purple. Can you see? Yeah, you can definitely look at the duochrome. So it's like very blackened and then it has like this really pretty purpley pink duochrome. So that looks really, really cool. So I'm excited to try this out. I also picked up all of their new brushes. Uh, so I'm not going to show them in this video because I'm going to do a separate video just showing these brushes. 
um, comparing them to the holiday kit that was at Walgreens. So stay tuned for that, but I did pick up all 10 brushes. Last thing I got from Wet n Wild is their new uh, primer. This is the Dewy, Dewy Luminex, Luminex face primer. Uh, lightweight, infused with vitamin E, smooth skin for makeup application. Uh, they also did come out with some new cushion foundations, which I have a video um, using, I think it's called Full Face, all using products under $10. It's not edited yet, but it might be up before this, I'm not sure. But I also think I did a haul showing that. Anywho, they did come out with a new foundation, some new highlighters. So I'll try to remember to link the haul if I forgot to. Just look at my recent videos. It's the new products um, at the drugstore in Sephora, I think. I think maybe just new products at the drugstore. I don't know. But oh, that looks pretty. It's very dewy. Doesn't really have much of a scent. But it looks nice. So Wet n Wild is just coming out with a ton of new products. Half of them were shown in that other haul. The rest are being shown here. I saw this at my Walmart. The rest I got at Walmart. This is the Master Fixer Makeup Remover Pen, which I thought was really cool because e.l.f. has one of these uh, that I used to use all the time. And it looks like it has little tips in here that you just put in here and then use it to clean up your wing, which I think is really cool, especially if you don't want to like pull out a whole makeup remover just to like clean that up or you don't want to use concealer. It just kind of helps sharpen up that wing. So I'm excited to play with this. I'm going to probably use it in a testing new products video. NYX, that's the point liquid, what did I call it? Lip liner? <laughs> liquid pe pencil? No. Liquid eyeliner. Why can't I say that? Uh, this is new. It's gigantic. Um, but I wanted to see if it was good and if it was matte. It looks nice and black. Um, it's a little bit of a chubbier one, but the tip is nice and it's a felt tip. I also picked up another of my Maybelline Curvitude, which is what I use today. Fantastic drugstore, matte, black. I love the, like, the way you hold it. It's just a really, really great liquid eyeliner. They came out with a new mascara. This is the Voluminous X Fiber. And so one side is the mascara, which is side one, and then side two is the fibers. And so you basically do side one and then you do the fibers. So I'm excited to try that. I'm going to show that in a testing new products video as well. Maybelline Master Prime Primer. And these are all from Walmart. Walmart's actually really cheap. I hate going to Walmart, so I avoid it like the plague, but Ethan wanted a new Nerf, to buy a new Nerf gun with his money he's been saving up. So... I took the opportunity to go check the makeup out. Um, this, hmm, it has a little Dofa applicator. And I wanted to see if it was like the Laura Mercier, I, I really like the Laura Mercier one in wheat. Um, so I wanted to see if it was like that. It looks like it has a bit of a shine to it. I mean, there's shine on my hand from that primer, but it definitely has a little bit of a sheen to it. But I'm excited to try it out and see how it works. If you guys have used any of these, let me know if you like them not a new product the Milani conceal and perfect I don't remember if I tried this in the past or not but I hear a lot of good things about it I really wanted to give it a go and so I picked it up in the shade 03 light beige and I just heard so many people say they love it and I cannot remember if I bought it and tried it and returned it or what um, but I think light beige will be a good shade Especially if I have like a little bit of a tan. All my self-tanner kind of came off my hands. But I'm excited to try that. So I will be using that in a video as well. Probably most of these products in a video uh, together. Also, this Milani Contour and Highlight. It said it was new. Uh, they have a few different shades. This one's the Fair Light. So you have the contour on one side. And then the highlight is like a doe foot applicator on the other side. Oh, it's pretty golden a golden new champagne so we'll see we'll see. I like the tone of the contour it looks like a really nice shade for my skin tone so I think they had fair maybe light medium and deep I think they had at least three possibly four shades total so if you're interested in something like that I'd go check out Walmart this is not new but I've heard so many mixed reviews about it and I really really decided I was gonna bite the bullet and try this out uh, it is the Maybelline Master Bronze by Face Studios. It's the bronze and highlight kit. You get three bronzers and a highlight. Uh, let me swatch these for you. So two of the bronzers 
look fairly matte. And then one, I can see a little bit of gold shimmer in it, which, I mean, it's like some gold sparkle. There's the swatches. It doesn't swatch that great, but that's okay. I find a lot of, like my NARS blushes don't swatch great, but they apply beautifully on the cheeks. So I'm excited to try this. Have you guys tried this out? I've just heard so many mixed reviews and I really wanted to give it a go. So you kind of have like this lighter contour shade for you know lighter skin, fair skin. You have this bronzer shade. And then if you're a little bit medium or deep skin, you could use this. You can kind of intensify your contour with that darker shade. But I feel like it's not even that dark. So I heard it's buildable. We'll give it a go. I'm excited. They also came out with the True Match Lumi Bronzette. They had something similar to this in the past that I have somewhere in my collection. Um, I don't know if this is the same product that they just re-released or if this is new, like a new color. This is in the shade 01 Light. They had medium and deep. Deep looked very, very dark and really warm. Medium looked super warm and shimmery. And so I thought light would be the best. It has like a slight sheen to it, but I really like the tone. I think that's a good tone and I think that one will work really great for my skin tone. And then the last thing was also from Milani. These are their Day Glow Luminous Strobe, Strobe Light. And it just looked really pretty. This was the only one they had in stock, but just a really pretty gold. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Really pretty gold highlight. So that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have you guys picked up any new drugstore products? I feel like Wet n Wild is like knocking it out of the park with some really great drugstore products. Um, I noticed that Maybelline and L'Oreal were coming out with even like more fun stuff for the spring and summer. So I can't wait to get my hands on them. What are some products you've been excited about coming out in new launches? Have you tried these? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!